Nerdy is the new sexy. It's good to be a geek. This is Bud's Weekly Geek Out. Hey, Bud. Hi, Dylan. Hi, Jason. Hi, Bud. There's a camera crew in here. Why? Just a bit of a visual thing. I got a visual thing today, so I just want to put a little thing up on Instagram so they can see what I'm talking about. I would have shaved my head if I knew this was <sighs> happening. Dude, you're... Now, because this camera behind me... You're going to be like three pixels high. It's okay. I don't... I don't know what that means. I'm uh, three pixels don't high. Don't worry about your head. Oh, okay. Jeez. <laughs> It's, photo it's not shoot. always about you, Dylan. No. When exactly. you're this, this Bud. bald... <laughs> Bud's doing this for himself. When you're this bald and you don't freshly keep your head shaven, it's very quick to be Friar Tuckish. I will... And I don't want that. I will keep that in mind for the future. Thank you. What's on the geek out today? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I have news of the new, new, newest Nintendo console, formerly codenamed NX. Since, like, March, it's it's been revealed as Nintendo Switch because you can switch it between its many forms. The, the core is this tablet-like screen. We don't know if it's touchscreen yet, which you can attach little wings onto each side. They're called Joy-Cons because they have joysticks and, they, and they're controllers. And they have buttons, and you can attach them to the side of the Switch to play it, not unlike the, the current Wii U gamepad with the screen in the middle and your controls in your hands, but you can also detach them and slide the Switch into, it, into its dock to play on your big TV. You can also use the Switch as a TV and little Joy-Cons, you take them off the side and they can each be used as an itty bitty controller and you can give one to a friend for multiplayer. It looks like you can network switches together for bigger multiplayer. There's also a regular controller and a controller shell you can slide the Joy-Cons into. This is this is a brilliant this is a brilliant and fascinating concept and one which completely appeals to me because I've definitely grown into more of a, a portable gamer than like a sit-down gamer, but there are still times when I want to play on a TV. It comes out in March 2017. And you will have one. I will. I'll most, I'll most definitely have one. Exactly. So now that that's over with, I'm going completely old school. Do either of you know what this is? Yeah, that's a cartridge for Nintendo. Yes, Nintendo Entertainment System cartridge. <gasps> is that what I think it is? I don't know. What do you think it is? Let me see the bottom of that. No. So oh, it is. Cool. <laughs> did you make that? No, I did not make this. I don't know what you're talking about at all. So just how, <laughs> bear with me. When you look at these things in 2016, they are huge. And I'm sure you remember, do you, Jason, do you remember what to do if, if any of these things didn't work? Yeah, when, you blow on it. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to blow into the bottom of this cartridge. Yeah. <gasps> it's a freaking harmonica. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man, that was the greatest thing ever. Yeah, <laughs> we have this super passionate zoner on the mainland named Mishy. She has this son, Loki, coolest zoner kid ever, and they're often over here for festing, and they love the zone. And she knows the people who created this amazing, ridiculous thing. They call it the Blotendo Harmonic Cartridge. <laughs> <laughs> Is these guys named Brady, Ryan, and Lucas. They're in Edmonton. They came up with another big hit idea before this, which involved anonymously mailing a bag of... <clears throat> uh, Exploding gummy, litter? No, no, no. Oh. Gummy phallic representations uh, to your friends or enemies so they could eat a bag of gummy phallic right. representations. Right. It's, if you are, if you're on the internet, you probably he's know what I'm talking genitals. about. He's using genitals. Genitals hey, is so, what so, he's so, talking we're, about. We're, we're just trying to keep the clean rating on eat the show. Eat a bag of dicks is what you're saying. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Jace, okay. All right, so... Aren't you glad you brought the camera crew in? <laughs> now we've got this. <laughs> All right, so how does one even come up with an idea like that? Here's the story. Ryan was blowing into a cartridge one day, as you do, and Brady, for a split second, thought, that's a harmonica. He did some research to see if this combination of game cartridge and harmonica existed, found out that it didn't. He went to Lucas with the cheapest Nintendo cartridge he could find at the thrift store and, and a harmonica, and he said, take these two things and put them together, make it a thing. And now it's a thing. Can I also just say, I meant, I, I've noticed that the game that you have there is the Blues Brothers. Which is kind of amazing. Perfect for harmonica. Oh, Absolutely. Cool. Uh, Elwood Absolutely. Blues plays a harmonica. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> almost, almost a Mario theme. Yeah, okay, yeah. there you go. Uh, you have a week left to back this on Kickstarter for your own Blotendo harmonic cartridge. <laughs> Starts at 23 Canadian dollars. Uh, the early bird rewards are gone. Uh, they only need a few hundred more dollars to reach their $4,000 goal. And if you back it, they say you'll get it by Christmas. You can find the pledge link for the harmonic cartridge at thezone.fm slash geekout and see the retro hilarious commercial for it starring Ryan's son, Dexter, and Mishy's son, Loki. Fantastic. Thanks so much, bud. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> wow. It's good to be Bud's Weekly Geek Out, Wednesday at 7.15 with Dylan and Jason in the Morning Zone.